We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I am so happy to be with you. God is a good God. God is gracious. God is merciful. He loves you. He loves you so much. He is merciful. He chooses mercy. No matter what you might be going through, God can deliver you, and He will. Put your trust in Jesus, and He will make a way for you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it, and they are saved. My dear friend, as you know, today is Monday, and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. The Lord has given me a word that I want to share with you. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. And then we'll get into the Word. Right now, in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you right here in studio and in the place where my dear friend is watching. Come and touch and bless my dear friend and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. Open up my dear friend's heart to be receptive to your leading and guidance. And lead my dear friend closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that the Lord gave me to share. God is giving you another chance, another opportunity. He is the God who gives second chances. It's not over, says the Lord. It's not over. Don't worry. Rest in me. Trust me. You will see my hand at work in your life. I hear the word another chance, another chance, another chance. Fresh fire. Fresh anointing. Renewed strength. And victory in Christ. My dear friend, I want to mention two people who got second chances, and there were many in the Bible, but there's two that stand out to me. The first one is Jonah. He directly disobeyed God. God told him to do one thing, and he made a conscious decision not to do what God told him to do. Until he was swallowed by a fish, and many people actually say he died, and then he was brought back. He was given a second chance. The second person I want to mention is Samson from the Bible. At some stage in his life, he never followed the instruction that God gave him. However, he got a second chance. And there's many others throughout the Bible who got second chances. One name that comes to mind is King David. There were mistakes that he made in his life. But God gave him a second chance. Another name that comes to mind is Apostle Peter. He denied Christ before the cock crowed three times. But God gave him a second chance. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16, it says, For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked fall by calamity. The Bible also says in the book of Micah chapter 7 from verse 18 to verse 19, it says, Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us 
and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. I'll read that once again. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever. So God doesn't stay angry forever. And it goes on and says, because he delights in mercy. So he prefers mercy. He delights in mercy. And God will have mercy on you. No matter how you may feel. Or what you may have done at some stage in your life. That may have put this voice in you that said, you've blown it. I want to tell you that God delights in mercy. And God is a God who gives second chances. It goes on and says, He will again have compassion on us and subdue our iniquities. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to praise God for a few moments and as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray and I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. Be expectant for God to touch you. Be expectant for a fresh touch of his anointing, a fresh fire upon your life. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you. Who is like you? There is no one. So good, so compassionate, so loving. You love us with an everlasting love. And we thank you for your word that shows us clearly that you delight in mercy. You prefer mercy, not sacrifice. And you make a way where there seems to be no way. You never leave us alone. You never leave us helpless. You speak to us. You show us the way. You say, this is the way, walk in it. And we are grateful. We are truly grateful for your goodness and your mercy towards our lives. Be glorified and be magnified in my life and in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. And be lifted high. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the grace availed to us in Christ. Thank you for all that you do for us. And thank you for never leaving us. Thank you for protecting us and our family members. Keeping us safe as we seek you daily. Taking us deeper. Letting us experience more and more of you. And we delight in your presence. We love your presence. We respect your presence. We cherish your presence. We give you praise and we thank you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, in saying that, let us begin to pray. I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. Now as we begin, I want to encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray for another chance wherever my dear friend feels as though they have blown it. I pray for another opportunity. You are the God who gives second chances. Whoever it is who will tune in and is trusting for another chance, give another chance, O God. Have mercy on us and make a way. Intervene in my dear friend's life and fight for my dear friend. Wherever it seems like it's over, make a way, O oh God. Turn it around. Turn it around for the good. As my dear friend puts their trust in you, bring total and complete deliverance. Bring a fresh fire and a fresh anointing upon the life of my dear friend, dear son who is tuned in, my dear friend, dear daughter who is tuned in and watching. Wherever my dear friend is watching and whenever my dear friend will watch. And bring victory. 
as my dear friend seeks after you. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, in beginning this week, I want to encourage you to put God first. Cherish that relationship that you have with God and the times that you get in the presence of God. That is our greatest blessing. Prioritize it and cherish His presence. We are living in a day and age when the world is waiting and crying out in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. So we as born-again believers need to walk in the fullness of our calling and be the salt and light in this world. Be the difference. Be the change that is needed. God bless you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.